Hey guys, happy October. I hope you're all really well. So today is Sunday, which means we are doing a reading for the Divine Soulmate Twin Flame Collective. We're going to take a look at the masculine's energy as well as the feminine's energy, see what is going on. Um, I do feel like things are getting a little intense once again, mostly for the masculines, but it could also be for the feminines. But I feel like there's like, even though it's intense for the feminine, there's like this numbing effect. So we'll see what that's about if it decides to come through in the reading. And do keep in mind, please, that this is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, and that is perfectly okay. And also, if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. And as always, if you're interested in a cord cutting session with me, you can find um, a lot of info on that on my community page. I've made some posts about that, or you can just email me directly with any questions and I will get back to you. Also, once again, thank you so much for those of you who donated last week. Um, again, it's, it's a huge help um, and I really appreciate it so, 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 so much. So yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. And yeah, I'm just going to mention quickly again that for the cord cutting sessions, I do have a special offer going on where if you get five in a short time frame, then the fifth one is 50% off. So yeah, all right, that is it. Let's get into this reading. Let's see what is going on with the masculines first. And then we'll look at the feminines and we'll also take a look at what is coming up in the next week or so. So for the masculines, please. I knew it. <laughs> Storm warning. Things are getting intense. Things are getting really intense. This is like a huge, huge tower that is either coming up or that they're, I actually feel like they're already in it, but I feel like it's like just beginning. And this is actually, um, this is actually for a lot of reasons. And I do feel like um, one of the like common themes for these masculines that will be like a common reason for all of them as a basis is that they didn't take this opportunity when they had the chance to or they find themselves being stuck again or feeling like they are back to um, back to a point where they were in the past like feeling like you know they had made some progress and then they got like stuck again so that's what they're feeling and so this is creating this huge tower let's see what else Wisdom. Okay, so this time around it is different because they've <clears throat> they've gained a lot of wisdom from this cycle that they have repeated in the past. So this time around, it's like they're more aware of it and it feels more real because it's like, oh, okay, now I know what this leads to. I know that doing this is going to lead to the same result that it led to last time. And was I happy with that result? No. So I'm doing the same thing again, which is going to give me the same consequence. So this is something that they are aware of. That is the wisdom here. Not only that, they know, they know that this storm that they're going through is just going to get worse and worse if they continue on in this way. Let's get just a few more and then we'll get into the tarot. Okay, and we have balancing the scales, which is like the justice card, um, which to me is very representative of this time period because we are in Libra season. So this card is all about what Libra represents, fresh start and metamorphosis. So <clears throat> this is also um, pertaining to the wisdom that they have gained, knowing that they need to bring things into balance, knowing that they need to make big decisions, that they need to correct past mistakes, and most importantly, that things need to be done differently, right? Fresh start, things need to be fresh. Things need to be done in a different way than they had been done in the past because that had only led to more towers and now they're beginning to feel another one coming on. But like I said, this time they're more wise and it's feeling more real. So they're realizing metamorphosis, like it needs to be <clears throat> completely different. Like something needs to shift they need to transform on a very, very, very major scale. So, but then again, you know, it's one thing knowing this <clears throat> and a different thing putting it into practice. But knowing is the first step. That wisdom, I feel, is very, very significant here. Okay, so let's get into 
the tarot and see what else wants to come through for the masculines. See if we can get a little more detail. So I will just be pulling three from the top. <clears throat> Just overall, what do we need to know about the masculines at this time? The Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, things are definitely feeling out of balance, especially in terms of the masculine um, having love in their lives or being able to pursue love in the way that they would want to, right? So currently, I feel like the masculine is not in this energy. They're not making this offer to their feminine. They're just not making this offer um, just overall, and they're not pursuing. They haven't been pursuing love, right? They haven't been pursuing this at all. They have almost like they've put their own needs aside and have not been taking care of their own self, and so they're finding themselves being stuck again. Now, for some of you, this Queen of Pentacles in reverse can definitely be referring to a third party, because I know I do have a lot of viewers where there are karmic partners involved or just karmic people in their lives. This person, okay, so for those of you that that resonates for, this person is, um, at the moment, also not being very loving towards the masculine. There's, and if they are, it's a little bit, um, I wanna say, I don't wanna say manipulative exactly, but it's not even, it's not balanced in their connection, okay? So that's just going to be for some of you. It's like, I feel like that person is trying to give but not able to give what the masculine needs and the masculine is not giving anything to this person, all right? So that's just for some of you. For others of you, this is the masculine at the moment, just not giving whatsoever anything to anyone. Let me get a few more and we will clarify what is what needs to be clarified. Let's see. What is their energy towards their feminine specifically? Death in reverse, the tower in reverse, and the hanged man in reverse. Wow, see? Look at these major, major energies showing up here for their energy <clears throat> towards their feminine. And they're all major arcana cards and they're all in reverse. So again, this is very much in line with what I've been saying. And of course, I'm not surprised at all to see that tower. Um, I've been talking about it from like the beginning of this video. Um, the fact that they have not changed, right, with death being in reverse, the fact that things have not transformed, that this metamorphosis has yet to happen, that is preventing the tower from falling completely. However, what I'm also getting here is that, again, they are going through this very, very profoundly. They're trying to resist this tower, but there's no way that they're going to be able to. There's no way that they're going to be able to. And the reason why this tower is showing up is because even if there has been some kind of an ending between the two of you recently, like maybe there's an ending to a different level where you know you're just like okay we're done like completely like i'm just done with this because i do get the sense that feminines are kind of in this energy of i'm not playing this game anymore and even the masculine may have felt like yeah you know what i'm just making this decision it's done i'm never going to approach my feminine blah 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 but it's not over death and reverse it's not over and the fact that they know it's not over but they're acting as if it is that's creating this tower and they're trying to resist it, but they cannot, all right? We have the hanged man in reverse. Um, it, they're not, yeah, they're holding back. Yeah, they're, you know, trying to resist, but they cannot. They're going to go through this tower whether they want to or not. And yeah, it is, it just is what it is. It is what it is. Um, let me just get one more row here for what's going on in their headspace or their emotional space towards their feminines. And then we'll, we'll clarify it, especially that top row because it feels kind of vague. Okay, so just one sec. Okay. The five of wands in reverse, justice, not surprised to see that either. We're getting like such similar cards to the Oracle cards here. And strength in reverse.
there's a lot of tension here between the masculine and the feminine, especially from the masculine's side. Um, this is interesting the way that it's coming in. On the one hand, the masculine wants to bring about balance, right? They want things to be fair. They want to correct their past mistakes. Obviously, I mean, this is just the most simplest way for me to um, see these cards right now. They don't have the strength to do that. They don't want this tension, but they don't have the courage to come forward and bring things into balance at this point in time. Now, the other message that I'm actually getting here is that the masculine is feeling, um, with this five of wands in reverse, I'm getting that the masculine is actually feeling a lot of anger and frustration towards their own self, but it's in reverse because they're actually taking it out on the feminine in some way. So if you are in contact or if you do connect with your masculine in the 5D or just in whatever way, you might be able to pick up on this. Almost like there's this like hostility being sent at you that just doesn't make any sense. But the message that I'm getting here from Spirit is that <clears throat> it's okay, you know, ignore it. Don't, don't feed it. Don't, don't feed into it. Don't throw fuel at that. Let the masculine be in this state. It's the reason why they're in this state is because it's a self-defense mechanism in preparation. Well, in preparation, it's like, it's, it's like a defense mechanism towards this tower that is impeding upon them and they can feel it. It's like the dark clouds have already started to come and it's like knowing that there's this tornado um, that's coming up and you have no idea if you're going to make it, if you know, you're going to survive it, how bad it's going to be, how much are you going to suffer through this. That's the, that's, that's the state that the masculine, at least the one I'm tapping into here today, that's the state that they are in right now. It's like waiting for the storm, which sometimes, you know, like it's, it's almost like waiting for punishment and the wait for the punishment can oftentimes be worse and more torturous than the punishment itself. That's the state that they are in. I'm even getting with this justice card, like that's what this is. This is talking about that, you know, the consequences to their actions, knowing that that's coming up. And so they're projecting this onto the feminine because they're feeling weak, because they're feeling like, you know, they just didn't do what they were supposed to do. They didn't do what their heart was calling them to do, which is that Knight of Cups. Um, so yeah, wow, intense, intense, intense. I knew it. <laughs> okay, you know what, actually? Um, yeah, okay, we'll clarify just that topper because I feel like everything else is very, very straightforward. So let me clarify that top row, please. And we will just get jumping cards. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Cups, and the Six of Cups. Yeah, again, specific message for those of you where there is a karmic situation involved. Um, yeah, them, uh, it's these two people as a couple, okay, if it's a romantic partner, it's like so unaligned, misaligned, mismatched, however you want to put it, right? King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles both being in reverse. It almost feels like they're both kind of like neglecting each other. I Like I said, I do feel like the other person, the karmic partner or person in their lives is trying to approach them, but it's just not, it's not giving way. It's not giving them what it is that they need because the masculine needs something that is going to be truly aligned with their heart. And what that is, is their divine counterpart. So it's like no one else can fill that. No one else can fill that. And so that's what's happening right now. That's what they're feeling because it's almost like, you know, um, I, I feel like for this masculine, it's like there was a decision made recently where they just don't want to Okay, it doesn't have to be that they don't, that they decided, okay, I'm not approaching my feminine. For a lot of them, it's just that they're delaying and procrastinating and just like pushing it in the back of their minds. For others of them, it's that, yeah, you know what? I just can't, I just can't right now. Um, so for those of them who are in that space, it's like, yeah, but now there's something missing from the past. They're missing this connection with you from the past and everything feels unbalanced because they cannot 
get this from anyone else. N nothing else can actually fill that gap from the feminine. And this is not to say that, you know, each soul is not whole on its own and that we cannot find fulfillment on our own or that we are dependent on someone else. No, but this is, I mean, we definitely are, you know, independent and we are whole and we can be fulfilled on our own. But that doesn't mean that we don't have this desire to co-create with our divine counterpart. It doesn't mean that we don't have a desire to over, on a deep soul level, to overcome certain challenges in order to come into union with the person that we know we are aligned with, okay? So that is what I am talking about, okay? Just to be clear, okay? That was a disclaimer. Um, so that is what I'm talking about, that no one else can fill that for them. And so they do feel that nostalgia for that. Now the masculine, like I said, they're also feeling like they've messed up big time. All right, even with that six of pentacles being in reverse, that they have not been able to give what they need to give in order to reach that, that goal. And this is creating a lot of nostalgia um, for them. Okay. So let me just move on to the feminines because I am very curious to see the feminines energy and all of this. And we'll see, we'll see. We might come back to this, but I feel like we got some pretty good messages here. So for the feminines, woman holding a coin and financial constraints. Those just kind of fell out on my lap. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so it looks like the feminine is actually really being focused on his or her own self here. You might be having some practical difficulties. For some of you, this could translate to financial, okay, just as the card is saying. It doesn't have to be, though. It could just be things, you know, like in your practical environment, like what you're going to do with a job or a house, living arrangements, even children, you know, just anything that is in the practical um, I feel like you're all, this is you also feeling like, you know what, like there are just some really big practical challenges concerning the connection with the masculine. And so for that reason, I feel like, you know, for the most part, this feminine is putting this whole like twin flame divine soulmate concept aside to focus on his or her own <clears throat> life and to you know, make it as fruitful and comfortable as possible. Achieving your own goals, in other words. Let me see what else. Because there's definitely more here. There has to be a lot more for the feminines. I mean, we've got so much for the masculines. There's got to be something more specific. Let's see. Growth. You're focusing on your growth. You're focusing, again, it feels like, um, again, this is talking about the material world. It can also be on a spiritual level. And I think this is just something that you already know, so I'm not gonna get into it too much, but how much you have grown um, just from this connection and from this experience. Okay, you already know that. I feel like this is all about you growing your own life separately at the moment from the masculine. Now, of course, you know, for some of you, this is actually part of the divine plan so that, you know, when the time comes, your life is more prepared. And so, you know, the union and what that will bring will be more, more effective. Let me see what else. And then for others of you, this is really just, it's just for you. And I actually had, um, I had a download, like a channeled message that came through a couple days ago for the feminines. It's a little bit harsh almost, kind of, maybe. <laughs> but I will make a separate video um, for that. I feel like it's just going to be for a very specific group of you. But um, yeah, I will make a video for that. And I'm purposely saying this in this video so that I can hold myself accountable so I will actually do it. Okay, so we have lessons, soulmate, and free will. Yeah, so this is kind of like what I was saying before that, you know, you you have learned so many lessons and this is why you have growth. And you've learned these lessons through this connection. All right, now part of these lessons have to do with your own free will. And actually this just kind of is reminding me of that channeled message that I have. Um, 
So I don't want to get too, too detailed for this because like I said, I want to make like a separate video on that. But basically what you can know for now, what this is saying is that you have your own choices as well. You have your own choices and for a while or possibly for a long time, for a lot of feminines, our choices were actually um, influenced quite a bit by the masculine's choices. So the time has come now where we have learned that no, you know what, <clears throat> my decisions and what I end up doing and the choices that I make are not going to be influenced or have nothing to do with what my masculine is doing or what my masculine is choosing to do. And it might feel <clears throat> for a lot of you like, you know, well, maybe you always, that you always made your own choices and that, you know, you were never affected by the masculine. But I challenge you to really like think deeply about this and see whether, you know, that's 100% true. And <clears throat> it's not bad to admit that, yeah, you know, like I did this and this and this because I had hope or because the masculine did that and that and that. Um, it's very, very natural. If you don't fall in that group, you know, that's fine. But this is just the, the message that I'm getting here, that this is part of the lesson that you have been learning. And I feel like you are at the point now where you, that lesson is learned, basically. That lesson is learned or like it's almost complete. Like you're at that point now where, you know, you're exercising your free will, like in completely, um, with complete disregard to your masculine. Okay, which is good. So let's just get a few tarot cards for the feminines. Judgment in reverse, the Five of Pentacles, and the Lovers in reverse. Okay, so yeah, you're at <clears throat> this point or you're reaching this point where you feel like, you know what, maybe there is no bringing this back to life. And you do feel the pain of that. It's not that it's easy. You do feel the pain of that. You do feel like, you know, for some of you, it might be a feeling of rejection. It might be a feeling of abandonment, <clears throat> a feeling of having been neglected. And that can be very painful and it can be very hurtful. Um, so yeah, I feel like though you're just, th this is the space that you are in where you're like, okay, you know what, if that's what it is and that's what it is. You, you just don't want anything in your life right now that is not like aligned with you or that is not truth. So if the masculine is not stepping up, if the masculine is not being truthful, if the masculine is not living authentically, you know, it's like you'd rather just take that hit than, than spend time and effort pursuing them, pursuing somebody who is not living authentically, who is not, who doesn't have the courage to speak their truth and come forward. Let's see what else. Ten of Cups in Reverse, the Five of Cups in Reverse, and the Hanged Man. <clears throat> yeah, you're definitely, I mean, you're feeling, you're feeling the loss. You're feeling the loss of this, of this connection or of the hope that you may, that you may have had. And it does feel like, you know, you might be kind of in limbo, all right, with this hanged man, but I don't really see it as waiting. I see it more as I'm not going to pursue this. I'm not going to put in any more effort to either help the masculine or to try to, you know, manipulate the situation in a way where I can get the masculine to want me more, to come forward or anything like that. Like you're just being passive in the sense of, you know what, I'm just going to sit back and just not even occupy myself with this as much as I can. 
Now, even though this does create sadness, I'm getting with this Five of Cups, I feel like this is actually the numbing that I was talking about in the beginning when I said it, it, it just feels like, yeah, it's intense for you, but there's also like this numbing because with the Five of Cups being in reverse, it's almost like the hardest part is in your past. Like you've already gone through the more intense feelings of, of loss. So even though, yeah, you know, you, you do accept that this is what it is, I feel like it's not really affecting your sense of self-worth. You're not letting it affect, you know, your sense of self. And you know that the masculine not coming forward has nothing to do with your value. And if, if you feel like you don't know that, you know, then take this as your message. It's like, you know, the masculine is only not coming forward because of their own weakness and their own lack of strength to live authentically at this moment, okay? And that doesn't mean it's not going to shift. I feel like this tower is actually going to do a lot. Um, but yeah, that's why they're not coming forward. It has nothing to do with your value or lack thereof. Okay, so one more row for the feminines, please. the world, the nine of swords in reverse, and the seven of pentacles in reverse. Okay, good. So for the feminines, I mean, look at this. And I actually feel like this is kind of like what you're moving towards. Like this is like the underlying like current of what is happening here for you, right? This is a completion. You are completing a cycle. You are learning those lessons or you have learned those lessons, right? At least coming up at least. And it's successful. You have completed that cycle. You're not repeating a cycle. The masculine might be repeating a cycle in a way, even though with more wisdom. And so this time around, we'll see what happens. But for you, you're not. You're not. Like you actually are doing things differently. And Spirit is saying here, by ending this cycle, by not repeating the exact same, you know, behaviors or ways of thinking that you did before, that's actually going to bring you out of stress and out of that anxiety, out of that intense pain that you have already been through. And again, just as a clarifier here, the seven of pentacles in reverse. Why? Because you're not feeding into this anymore. You're not playing those games, like whatever game your masculine may have been playing with you. And if it's not, a, I mean, it's not really a game. This is just a figure of speech, okay? Um, you're just not entertaining it anymore. You're doing things differently. So if you were always the one to initiate contact, for example, you're not doing that anymore. If you were always there whenever they came around, you're not doing that anymore. You're closing the door now. For, for example, you know, if they're not coming in authentically, whatever the case might be for you, you're just doing things differently. If it was just that, you know, whenever you saw your masculine um, doing something that would trigger you, now you're not getting triggered. You're just, uh, you're, you're not reacting in the same way. You're just going about your life as if that, you know, wasn't even there. You know, any of the above, anything similar to that, you know, just take it as it resonates. You're just doing things differently, basically. And that revolves around not giving attention to this, not putting an effort for this anymore. Just being okay with the fact that, you know, hey, if this isn't going to happen, that's fine. And it doesn't mean it won't. This is just the state that you are in now. And that is where you are meant to be. That is the lesson here to be okay on your own, to not be influenced by the masculine. And there may have been many times in the past where you felt like you were there and then just to kind of fall back into it and then being like, oh shit, <laughs> I thought I was over this. I guess, you know, I'm not, I still have this hope or I'm still putting in effort. And then you give up putting in effort again and then it happens again and again. There's something really different about it this time. Like no joke, you are really completing the cycle. So, um, with that said, let's see what is coming up. For the masculines, I'm just going to look for the, uh, the masculine's energy coming up because I feel like for you, I mean, this was like a very, very good message here. Also, you know, to encourage you for how to progress in the next week or so. And then, yeah. So let's see. Masculine. What is coming up in the next... 
week or so, we have the Seven of Cups, the World in Reverse, and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so this is a very short time span, okay? Um, just keep that in mind. Things are going to be a little bit heavy here for them. There is a lot of emotional confusion. I feel like I'm almost even getting like a delirious kind of a, an energy here with the Seven of Cups. Like just almost feeling like they're in a dream. Like what the hell is going on? What is going on in my life? And that's because for them, you know, in contrast to the, the feminines having that world upright, right? Having learned your lessons, having completed that cycle, they're feeling this way because they have not. And that's actually leading them to this five of pentacles energy where now they're the ones feeling abandoned. They're the ones feeling rejected. They're the ones feeling neglected. They're the ones feeling alone because they don't have their feminine. Why? Because they didn't complete something that they were meant to complete. And that's just, you know, that's okay. That's giving them that push. This is happening as a consequence to their actions or lack thereof. Right, because once we face those consequences, that's when we are triggered to do something differently. So I feel like the reason why we don't have, um, well, we can't have the tower come out here because it's already come out <laughs> um, before previously and from the same deck. But I actually feel like this tower, it's it like even coming up in the near future, it's not at its peak yet. Like it's building. Like it's gonna be kind of like you know, the bigger the tower is going to be, the the longer the build up to it. And I feel like this tower is having like a pretty big buildup, which means it's going to be really strong. Like it's 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 going to be like like a huge earthquake kind of a thing. Um, so yeah, that's what <laughs> I'm getting here for the masculines, and they'll survive. They will survive because this is also you know a divine intervention. It's a divine intervention. They will survive. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave that at that. I'm going to be very interested to see if, you know, we tap into the same group. What will, what will come up in the next few readings? Okay. So if this resonated for you, please do give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already so that you can be part of the groups that I do tap into. And yeah, let's see. Final... Final message. We have breathe. Let me get one more. This is definitely a message for the feminines. Um, and if there are any masculines watching this, you know, yeah, breathe. Breathe through this. You know, this is just something you, you're you going to go through. It's difficult, yes, but you will survive. You will survive. There's something to be learned from this, and it might just be the push that you need. And, you know, for a lot of you, it could even be that, you know, you, you're like, asking for this push, like you almost need it. And building blocks. Um, yeah, and I'm just gonna leave it at that because I feel like this is just pretty much um, saying what I just said with this building blocks. I see it as this tower is building and spirit just wants to leave it at that. It's being built, it's building up. So feminines, you know, just breathe because you might also be picking up on some of this energy from your masculines coming up, know that it is coming from the masculines going through a huge, huge tower or the buildup of a tower. So you might also be feeling some restlessness because of that. Just breathe through it. It's okay. Everybody is going to be okay. All right, guys, that is it for this time. Um, I thank you all so much for watching and much love.